Welcome to the Connected Leaders Academy Virtual Conference, designed to reshape your vision of transformation. As we navigate the evolving business landscape, our speakers will unveil innovative strategies to manage and initiate change. Prepare to adapt, innovate, and lead, ensuring your role in this transformative era. Well, good afternoon. Uh, Coach Marvin King here. I run the Bowie Kettlebell Health and Wellness Center here in Bowie, Maryland. And I am going to speak with you today. I'm very happy to be part of the CLA uh, organization. I have uh, been, I got involved with Jose Norton for quite a while and uh, immediately, immediately connected. We met at a martial arts event. Uh, I am a four-time or six-time Hall of Famer uh, in the martial arts organization, American Martial Arts Alliance. And that just supports my 50 years of training in the martial arts. Doesn't mean I've been beating everybody up. It means I've been doing it for a very long time. So I am going to bring to this group today and uh, a unique perspective to managing wellness. Okay. Uh, health and wellness has become a very good passion of mine through the martial arts. And I have come up with an awesome program called the 10 elements of uh, the 10 the, to the uh, 10 elements of total wellness and that's what we want to speak on today and uh, as a martial artist you're wondering you know what's he going to get into martial arts because my background is so deep in martial arts that's pretty much where I start and anyone who's seen me speak on a stage or been at one of my events know that I'm a very visual person you know, I present visually, I have people get involved, interactive, I mean, actively in the sessions, and everyone's feeling better or inspired afterwards. I like to start the session off first thing in the morning to get everyone all ready and pumped up and inspired, get the blood moving for the rest of the day. So that's where I usually present from that level of platform. So this is a little different. Uh, I think it gives me an opportunity to stretch the way I present myself. And I hope I get feedback from some folks saying that, you know, the information was clear enough. And uh, that's really what I'm trying to do, get the information out so you clear and understand how it works. Uh, at this time of the video I am, of the day, I'm 64 years old. And I basically attest to the program I've involved or evolved in and am in a, in a part of and that what I teach because it's actually transformed my life. Uh, as a martial artist, you hear crazy things about what martial arts uh, feats of strength and whatnot, but I'm also a wellness coach and I lived the life here in the US with a very stressful jobs and I've worked, I've had, I've had, uh, ep I had an episode of cancer, prostate cancer, and I've had my wife pass away from cancer and I've had family members pass away within the last four years. A lot of things have just happened. So I'm coming from a perspective of what it takes to really keep your life in perspective on the wellness stage when you have diversity in your life and everyone has it. And as I work with my clients, the first thing I hear from anybody who wants to start a new program is a time. The time they have is limited, which we all have a limited amount of time, but we all have the same amount of time. So it's where you put your focus. So uh, as a martial artist, uh, my martial arts background is karate and kung fu, but kung fu has a wellness program built into the system. And the next stage or the students progressing into kung fu is into a wellness stage and it's built in. So all of my instructors who are still alive, thank God, are still are teaching, have transcended into this level of program. And I found it's just appropriate because of all the different situations that have occurred. There's an internal portion of martial arts that I found I can teach to the public without them having to learn martial arts and grasp some of these incredible concepts to improve their own health and wellness. I've made a, I've made a few notes and I, uh, after being inspired by so many good speakers on this day's platform, um, I basically have done pretty much speak from my heart and go into this program from a perspective of where I see it and where I've gotten feedback from. I'm going to get into some mechanics, but the mechanics are, they're there and the 10 elements, I'm going to go through them and they present and they represent a format or uh, a, a, a place to go to identify where you, where these things come from. 
So uh, I did develop the 10 elements of total wellness, a framework. It's not only derived from a wealth, a wealth of tradition and knowledge, but also designed to be accessible to everyone. So it had to come together with a system, and that's what the system is about. Um, I'm a, fourth, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a best-selling author and co-author as well. So I wrote a book on this subject so I can get the information. I had a lot of people comment on that. So the information is also available in a book. So let's delve into the profound com uh, connection between Kung Fu and wellness. Uh, Kung Fu is a martial art and most people know and they recognize it's what they see on TV. It's a way of life that emphasizes hard work self-discipline, self-control, and inner peace uh, achieved through physical exertion and training. Wellness, on the other hand, is a mindful pursuit of health and life so that you not just survive, but you thrive. So the two basically mess together, especially in the long term. And when you think about wellness, you think about a lifetime and not just being in shape. And I'll talk briefly about that. So I have a come up with a basic mindset, a warrior mindset. Uh, the martial arts bring a, concept, a perspective of uh, warrior into or tenacity into the goal setting process. And that's what's taught through the martial arts or that's what I bring to the program and transfer into the client and help them get to that level of what they're trying to achieve with the tenacity that they may not have felt prior to working with me. Wellness or the mindset that I'm talking about is that you find an activity you love, be consistent with it, and practice it every day. It's simple. It can be five minutes or it can be 10 minutes. The time doesn't really matter. What's important is that you do it either morning or night, you get it in there, and when you're going to find that what, what's amazing going to happen is you're going to find it gets easier every time. So people have heard that it doesn't take a lot to get, to get fit or stay fit, but the confusion out there is what type of exercises do I do? And I can only, I can learn it and I don't have to keep going back and relearning it. This, I'm not here to let you know that there is a pattern or I'm introducing you to a way of moving forward with the program. Once you have it inside of you, understand it, your nervous system will understand what to do. And you can maintain a set of wellness exercises for your entire life and be fit. Now, like I said, I'm 64 years old. And a testament to what I'm saying, I, had, uh, I can now ride, I ride over 100 miles a week on my bike. And that's not because I just started biking. It says I started and I loved, I loved it. But because of the wellness program I've been doing, it's able to me to transcend into that in my later years. So as an entrepreneur and a business person, as you spend time developing your business programs and working with clients and developing such amazing, uh, uh, helping so many people achieve so many goals, you look back on your life at the end and you may not be where you think you want to be as far as your health and wellness because you keep looking for different ways to get there. But if you can find a path and integrate it with your current business lifestyle, you will be in a very much better or predictable place towards the end of your career. And that's where the goal of having a good wellness plan comes into play. The ultimate question is, what kind of activities should I be doing regularly that delivers the biggest bang for the buck regarding my health? All kinds of information, like I mentioned before, you can go to the internet and it tells you to do, uh, we have a yoga program, we have a kettlebell program, we have a fitness program. We have a CrossFit program. There's so many things. And a good thing about it, they all work, okay? They all work as an exercise program. But how do you convert that into a wellness program, okay? Now, if you join a gym, uh, fitness and fitness on the, top of your, on the top of the process is just a yearly goal. Everyone plans to do fitness goals every year. The gyms are crowded with people every year. It's a way of getting in shape. Uh, it's a goal setting process. Uh, my doctor says I got to get in shape and you know you have to get in shape and you find a trainer, you pay a thousand dollars, he trains you for a couple of weeks, for maybe a few months, you get in great shape or you feel a lot better uh, before, you feel a lot better at training there than when you got there. 
And then all of a sudden, after about three months max, he may not be going to that gym anymore because other life situations come into play that pull it back from you. So then fitness goes back to where it was, that thing that you have to do somewhere later, find time to do it because it took too much time to get to where you wanted to be. That's called like a spurt. That's a spurt. And trainers and gyms make a fortune off of that level of spurt. They know it's only temporary. How do you make, how do you, if you were to do that or have a level of training where you can stay at a place where you can do that your whole life is what you're trying to do. Well, that would be a great goal, right? So some, some general guidelines on the type of exercises or the things you should be focusing on. I, I talk about these in all my seminars is that uh, such things as breathing, uh, sitting and standing. I think some of you taken my seminar on sitting and standing had a, a little inspiration there. Uh, moving through your day with intention and purpose. Now, the entrepreneur does that on a regular basis, but how do you add that into your wellness program? So if you're already doing it, just include a wellness program to incorporate with that. So you integrate it. Um, the seminars I taught, like I said, people will get feel better in their bodies immediately after doing just these few exercises. And now, you know, I'm offering uh, some free uh, giveaways, and I hope you take advantage of that. I feel very happy when people can uh, come in and give it a shot, give it a try, and then we, you get a better idea of what we're talking about, and how it feels, because feeling is a big part of everything. Entrepreneurs and business people need to understand wellness is a mindful pursuit of living well to do what one likes for as long as one likes, okay, for as long as one likes. Being able to do what you like as long as you like is amazing. Now, what's, what's funny about that philosophy is that we forget what's important of the things we like to do. Say, for instance, you like to, uh, you, you like to play uh, tennis on a regular basis if you can't get to it, or you like to uh, drive cars, or you like to mountain climb, or you like to do that. You, those things are probably not so tough when you're physically youthful, you got youthfulness. But if you do not find a way of maintenance, you start to deteriorate over time as those activities aren't so available to you, as you get busy in your careers and whatnot. So what becomes very important as we age and you start looking at the things that are important is if you have kids and they have kids, you have grandkids. And now your grandkids are there and now you're in your 50s and 60s or, or you know, if you're like me, you have, you have grandkids and you're in your 60s. And now, because of the program, you can get on the floor and play with them. Now, I know many clients who have come to me who have not been able to get on the floor because it becomes an item of concern to be able to get down and get back up. And I'm sure they didn't see that coming 10 years ago. And now it is here, they're kind of stuck with it. And they're trying to figure a way that's now what's important to them is getting up and down off the floor. And that may sound rather mundane, but in reality, it's, it's mundane when you can do it very easily. But if you can't do it, it becomes concerning. Uh, being able to go to the bathroom independently and uh, uh, use your bathroom and your toilet without any pain, sitting on those things, okay? Being able to take a walk outside for a mile or two miles or it's a half a block without pain, okay? These, what's important, if you can do that at later times in your life, you'd be head and shoulders above many peers, many of your peers who cannot do that. And it's, the numbers are escalating. Like I say, I'm 64, I see the numbers. My clients are 40 and above. So I understand the difficulties that are coming to folks. So the program is adapted and teaches them how to take advantage to bring back that level of youthfulness, youthfulness back into their body. So you don't wanna be that entrepreneur who gets to that point in his life at the end, you realize, oh my God, I could have done better choices with my body. And then say, you know, I wish I had done this. You did all this well, helped all these people. And now all of a sudden, you're at the portion where you need some more help. Fortunately, there's, there's hope for you. But you want to be able to get it and understand it and move in that direction where, hey, I'm in a better place now because I followed a decent program. So um, 
I'm going to briefly I'm going to briefly explore the 10 elements and I want to um, just go over what they are briefly because I, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on them. And I just want to go through them because they are the mechanics. The 10 elements are 10 elements of total wellness, uh, fitness. Now I have uh, martial arts, mobility, breath control, functionality, minimalism, and strength management. Okay, that's the fitness portion of what we're talking about. And many people get that uh, at a gym, fitness. Uh, I have the morning routine. I have sup uh, uh, the supplement your current practice, exercises, and, uh, uh, and how to not treat exercises as something different and bring it back into your program as a wellness plan. I have a, a way of doing that, okay? So fitness is one of those things. The other part uh, is nutrition. Nutrition is at the top of most people's minds, of course, always there. Um, I have an eight-week transformation program, which takes to the person how to manage portions and what types of foods. If you have a tendency, to, if you have a tendency of gaining weight, it's probably your portions. That's all you're doing. Portions are off control. The American diet is loaded with portions that are just way off the charts. So once you understand portion control, you automatically start to trim up. You understand the right type of exercise to do. You start to get muscles and firm, uh, firm up some of the muscle mass in your body, functional muscles, and you will feel a whole lot better because you're moving a whole lot better. And that's important when it comes to what your nutrition is doing for your body. Um, accountability. Now here, the third one of the uh, 10 dimensions of accountability, this is, I find, is the key to any exercise program. If you join a gym, you, you buy a trainer, or a trainer works with you, you're accountable to that trainer. And that's why it works in generally with the first two to three months with that training, because you are being accountable to somebody. You, when you go home, you're just finding it very difficult to be accountable to yourself when it comes to exercise, because again, you have that understanding of what's, what I'm supposed to be doing. So accountability with a coach will help inspire or help you understand what you have to do. And then it's an easy movement forward once you know, they, once you know it is. My goal is to wean off people so they eventually can do this, manage this on them, by themselves. So once you become accountable uh, to the exercise program that's going to tailor be made for you, then it's very simple. And it, it's integrated with your lifestyle. You'll see that it's not very that hard. The third one is a, a psychological, live life, emotional health, and stress management. Now, um, relaxation practice incorporates into your morning or evening routines. You do this probably on a regular basis because your business entitles you to it or you know you have to do it to stay, to start your day off right, there are to the breathing patterns. But if you could build that into your exercise program, that's two things you're knocking out at the same time. So the idea is to limit the amount of activities you do and increase the amount of results or increase the level of uh, time or reduce the amount of time and increase the benefit of time you're using and get as much done with the amount of time you have. Uh, and that's, what the, that's how a good wellness program works. The other thing is business, uh, purpose-driven work that you enjoy and positively impacts others. That, I'm speaking to the choir here because when it comes to business, you know what that's all about. You pick your business, you pick your choice of your career, and you move in that direction. Uh, society, relationships with family and friends for the benefit of humanity. You want to make sure that you're maintaining the relationships with your family, your spouse, uh, building those relationships, which we understand as entrepreneurs, I'm also speaking to the choir on that subject. I think most folks understand the importance of that. Spiritual meaning, another one, really simple or understanding through entrepreneurs. Uh, meaningful relationship with a higher authority and personal value. Be kind. I heard someone speak today, be kind. That is a magical word. My mother taught that to us growing up my whole life. Just be kind. That may hurt sometimes, but if you do it, you'll find that the benefit is much more lasting. Um, intelligence, self-improvement strategies, continue to learn new things. Intelligence, uh, we know that we have to continue to grow ourselves inside in order to share what we know with other people. So that is something that uh, is just built into an entrepreneur's lifestyle, continual learning. I adopt the green tomato theory, and I mentioned it in my book, of course, uh, always be the green tomato, because once you ripen, you start to rot. Always be in the learning stage. That's the green potato. Always the green tomato. Always be ready to learn. 
uh, ecological, maintain a physically safe home and clean environment. Now, I'm a martial artist, and I have a, a, a perspective of this that I like to, I've always taught my family and my clients as far as my self-protection program. Um, be aware of your external environment, how your external environment affects you. So your home, you have to keep your home safe. You have to keep your home nice and neat and functional. Keep your home safe and learn the four disciplines of the emergency color code. Uh, white is safe, yellow is caution, orange is preparedness, and red is action. Uh, these four laid, these four stages of self-protection will help you maintain a level of assurance that you're not using too much stress at a point where you don't need to be using. I think most people are in the red zone half the time because they don't understand they should be in the yellow or they should be in these different levels of understanding of th security threats. And that's taught and that has to be learned so you can understand to relax yourself and not be stressed all the time. Uh, economical, generate income and the management of personal resources. I continue to learn from entrepreneurs on how to do that. That's something, all these things you must continue to work on. But with that, I know uh, I'm also speaking to the choir, managing your savings, gain control of your finances and understand how to manage a budget and be responsible for credit cards, checking, savings and investments. That's uh, something that we must all be uh, very cock always be aware of and uh, making that work. Now, that's a brief description of the 10 elements. So I wanted to make sure I got that out there. And I know the time is running short and I have so much to share with you. But once again, my name is Marvin King. I'm easily found on the web, uh, coachmarvinking.com. Uh, I have a website, which you'll be able to click me there. You can connect me on, uh, uh, look me up on Marvin King, BKC, Marvin King, RKC. A whole bunch of information pops up. And you can search me out. Take advantage of the free gifts and see me on the videos. We are programmed. We do video live streaming pretty much on Zoom three days a week, teaching this program to many people on the internet profile. I do very little in person because I like to reach as many as I can. I find I can transfer this information fast across the internet. Accountability, remember, is very important for getting anything to work for you. And uh, like I say, out of the 10, that's number one. And you want to make sure that you find someone that's accountable that you can actually get have results and prove. We call our program the Forever Young Forever Lifestyle. I look forward to being uh, look forward to you being a part of that program. And forever being young again is a great way to feel, is a great way to be in your bodies as you start to mature in your age. Uh, that's a mindset, and we like to help as many people understand how to do that as they take the program. Um, so remember, we we Kettlebell Health and Wellness, our focus is totally on helping you achieve your physical uh, goals and maintain them over a lifetime. And once you know the formula, it's a no brainer. You'll be able to do it every day. Like I do it every day in the morning. I don't even think about it. You say, how much time do you work out? I work out every day. And it's not what you would think it is. Like I say, I'm 64. I'm in some of the best shape of my life. And I want to be able to share with you those secrets on how to do that. So with that in mind, um, I want you to look me up, Coach Marvin King. And uh, I'm not going to get into any more subjects for the day. So my time is pretty much up. So with that in mind, I want you guys to uh, have a good day. Enjoy the rest of the seminars and come back and see me and take advantage of one of those free gifts. And I will teach you about what the hell effect exercise program, which is something that is totally unique to what kettlebell work would do for you. The way we teach it is just totally awesome. Any age, any person can work with kettlebells. And that part is going to be great. Thank you for participating in today's enlightening session. As we transition to our next expert, remember that each strategy and insight is a step toward becoming a transformative leader in your field. Visit ConnectedLeadersAcademy.com to stay engaged and informed. The journey of change is ongoing. Let's move forward together.